We were at the traffic and there was this Porsche 911 in front of us, just waiting on the red light. It was years ago, I was a kid, but I still remember the feeling very well. I remember the huge width of the rear wheels of 911. It was sitting on the ground so powerful. These wide wheels felt like they grabbed the ground, suck it to stay on the road. It was amazing. I had no idea about car design sketches at that time, but still in my young brain I was emphasizing the size of these wheels. Wow. A couple days ago something similar happened. I saw a Mercedes GLE Coupe in front of me. And again, the wheels were there sitting confidently on the asphalt, carrying the huge body of GLE with no problem at all. It really affects your opinion of the car, if it has a strong stance on the road or not. And the wheels are a big part of it. When I'm back at home, I had to take this idea out of my system and I just started sketching a Mercedes SUV with huge wheels. And of course I exaggerated it even more. Because this sketch was about capturing the emotions. Design sketches are actually about that, capturing the emotions. When we search for ideas and show them, we want to emphasize the emotion, not the technical data or perfectly rendered photorealistic image. Proportions are more exaggerated depending on the emotions you want to capture. If you want to show the spacey feeling of a minivan or cuteness of an urban car, you don't exaggerate the wheels. You maybe show the graphic elements bigger or stronger. And when you want to capture the powerful sporty feeling, then the wheels are getting more attention. When you think about it, the wheels are the only touching point between the car and the ground. So they are not just a detail that can be replaced. There are many engineers who work on tires to make them suitable for efficiency, high performance, multi-terrain usability and so on. Also there are many designers who work on rims for different purpose and aesthetics. There are also products which need the whole design process for themselves. This is why on some exterior design sketches you see very simplistic lines to represent the wheels or some digital sketches where the rims are from a photograph. Because they are not something to underestimate and easily sketched. It requires time and effort to sketch nice wheels. Most of the exterior design sketches have different purpose, which is finding the right proportions for exterior, developing new ideas for the whole volume and surfacing, working on the graphical elements and so on. While focusing on these, it is not necessary to spend a lot of time on a better wheel sketch. Giving the importance to different elements is not specific for car design, also in real life. For example, if you ask somebody to draw a portrait of a human, generally you would see the result with bigger eyes than they should be or smaller forehead than it should be. Especially if the person is not experienced in drawing portraits before. And the reason is simple, because when you talk to someone, you focus on the eyes, right? You don't focus on the forehead or the nose or, or the ears or anything else. So in your mind you remember the eyes a little bit bigger than how they are in reality. I'm talking about subconscious approach here, but why not to use it consciously on our car design sketches? Of course, the amount of this exaggeration has different levels. For example, the first Coupe SUV was BMW X6, and you can see on the first official sketches how huge are these wheels. It even feels a bit like caricature. However, consider that this was the first Coupe SUV, so it was very important to show the emotions behind, not the production dimensions. It is a big vehicle, which is high from the ground, but still it is a Coupe and sporty car. So the sketch also shows that idea in a screaming way. The design story of this vehicle, I think, is quite unique. The idea uh, we came up with uh, combining coupe and SAV was there pretty quickly. But then to be a very emotional kind of vehicle, the process was quite unusual. 
We want our customers to actually feel something when they look at the car, feel something when they uh, drive the vehicle. Uh, we want to give some experience for all the senses. Designers express their ideas in sketches and they make a lot of them, hundreds, thousands of them. And uh, of course, we then make a selection. And in this case, there was actually only one sketch that immediately grabbed everyone's attention and the vehicle still looks like that today. When we look at the GLE Coupe sketches, they are way more realistic compared to original BMW X6 sketches. However, still exaggerated wheels and proportions. We can clearly see that in comparison to photos of this beauty. Another example can be Skoda sketches, or more recent BMW sketches. I think the wheels are maybe not even exaggerated at all, or probably just a little bit. They are filling the wheelhouse more than real cars, but not as extreme as first doodles. And this is also something to keep in mind. Probably these sketches are done after the design process is finished, so they are more about showing the final design in an artistic way. So they are more tuned down compared to first ideation sketches. Also some of them are done by using a photo or the 3D model of the real car as overlay. So don't compare your first ideation sketches to an official car design studio sketch. Oh by the way, look at this beautiful Porsche again, how well it sits on the ground. And did you see the new 911 GT3 RS? Oh my god, this thing is a beast. See you in the next video.